In this video, we're going to talk about trazodone-induced priapism. And uh, trazodone is an antidepressant medication, and um, it's uh, used uh, to treat insomnia, and can also, of course, uh, be used to treat depression. And um, this medication um, has uh, a certain mechanism of action that causes it to have this unwanted sexual side effect. Um, priapism is essentially defined as a persistent painful erection that basically lasts longer than, well it can last more than four hours. And normally, um, normally the erect penis is supposed to go back to a flaccid state and uh, this does not happen with priapism so basically if you want to have an actual definition the erect penis does not return to a flaccid state now the reason this is happening it doesn't happen all the time of course but the reason it can happen is because of the mechanism of action of trazodone Trazodone, uh, as an antidepressant, works on serotonin. But it also has another uh, avenue of action on the body in that it is uh, an antagonist of alpha receptors. Alpha adrenergic receptors. Now these receptors normally uh, if you have a alpha adrenergic agonist, these receptors normally cause a vasoconstriction of the smooth muscle. Now, if you antagonize them, uh, the opposite will happen. You'll get vasodilation. And because you get vasodilation with this drug, trazodone, uh, you can get uh, an enormous amount of blood uh, going to the penis, and that can in certain cases cause uh, the priapism. Of all the uh, drug-induced types of priapism, uh, because pri uh, trazodone is not the only one that causes it, uh, the drug-induced, of all the cases of drug-induced priapism, uh, about 40% of these are because of trazodone, uh, ap approaching 40%. So as you can see, trazodone is a, is a big player. There are other medications involved, uh, such as uh, certain neuroleptics and other uh, certain neuroleptics, and also certain street drugs, illicit street drugs, such as heroin, uh, for example, that can cause uh, this as well. Now, let's uh, take a look at a couple vignettes. See what this looks like. A 40-year-old man is admitted to the hospital for evaluation and treatment of depression associated with suicidal thoughts. He denies any past psychiatric history. His medication, medical history is significant for hypertension, for which he currently takes hydrochlorothiazide. He also describes history of once having a painful erection that lasted for eight hours and had to be treated with intracavernous injections in the emergency room. He states that this was thought to be related to an antihypertensive medication that he used to take. During the treatment of this man's psychiatric condition, which of the following medications should be avoided? So it's clear from the vignette that he has a history of priapism. So you probably want to avoid a medication that causes that. And of the choices, the one that causes it of these five is trazodone. And then the last one. 38-year-old obese man comes to the emergency department complaining of an erection that has persisted for 10 hours. The erection occurred spontaneously and is painful. He has no history of similar problem in the past and notes that he woke up this morning with an erection and has not gone down since. He denies any recent perineal trauma, reports no use of crack cocaine, and denies personal history of sickle cell. He claims to have uh, satisfactory erectile function. Past medical history is significant for hypertension, diabetes, depression. Surgical history reveals appendectomy and vasectomy. Meds include labetalol and alperol, metformin, and trazodone. Family history is positive for diabetes and hypertension. He drinks two beers a day. Exam reveals an obese male. 
His vitals are pretty much, uh, well, blood pressure is a bit high. Uh, patient's penis is erect and slightly tender. The remainder of the exam, including genital urinary exam, is unremarkable. The factor in this patient's history most closely correlated with this chief complaint is, well, let's go through these. Uh, smoking does not uh, cause priapism. So he's obviously presenting to the emergency room with the uh, chief complaint of, of priapism. Um, smoking does not, so that's out. Uh, an appendectomy or history of appendectomy has uh, nothing to do with pri uh, priapism. Uh, diabetes can cause erectile dysfunction, but uh, does not cause priapism. Uh, erectile dysfunction and, and uh, priapism are two different things, ED. Uh, history of hypertension, this is a, a, a good one. Hypertension is another condition associated with erectile dysfunction, ED. But it's not a cause of priapism. So that's actually a, a little bit of a, a trick. A trick simply because uh, blood pressure medicines are known to cause unwanted sexual side effects like for example beta blockers or diuretics but those are erectile dysfunction uh, type side effects so by process of elimination we get to E history of depression and a particular trazodone so that's what the answer is to this question